All well, right, uh, there is a new government taking form in Afghanistan and a new prime minister. All key positions are now in Taliban hands. Uh, Trey Yingst is following all of that in Doha, Qatar, with the latest. Hey, Trey. Neil, good afternoon. The Taliban does now have a caretaker government, many familiar faces, no women, and a lot of leadership from the Taliban's pre-9-11 era. This does come as U.S. officials were visiting Qatar today. Both Secretary of State Antony Blinken and U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin meeting with their Qatari counterparts to discuss the issue of Afghanistan. The Biden administration will have to lean heavily on the Qataris to have a critical link with the Taliban and to open up some of those lines of communication. The pair held a joint press conference to discuss the U.S. withdrawal and to thank Qatar for their efforts to evacuate both Americans and Afghans. The big news still focused, though, on those Americans stuck in the northern Afghan city of Mazar Sharif. Blinken addressed the issue, saying the State Department doesn't have the means to verify the manifest on those charter planes and when they plan to land. He did confirm a small number of Americans are waiting, but says the Taliban appears willing to allow those with proper documents to leave. He also said this isn't a hostage situation. Take a listen. And we are not aware of anyone being held on an aircraft or any hostage-like situation in Mazari Sharif. So we have to work through uh, the, uh, the different requirements, and that's exactly what we're doing. This as tension rises in the Afghan capital of Kabul. Today, hundreds of people took to the streets to protest against Pakistani influence in Afghanistan. Demonstrators chanted death to Pakistan and freedom, freedom. Taliban fighters responded, firing into the air to disperse the crowd. Now, given how things are playing out on the ground in Afghanistan, I asked Defense Secretary Austin what leverage the United States still has over the Taliban to keep Americans safe. As he was walking out of that press conference in Doha earlier today, he simply looked at me but did not respond. Neil? Trey Yingst, thank you, Trey, for, for that. Um